I wanted to share with you guys this mousetrap. If you go online, they say that this is one of the best mousetraps ever. So let me show you how it works and then we'll see if we can make one ourselves. So this trap really only has three parts. The top, the ladder, which is two parts, and the flipper. There's four clips underneath, which allows it to attach to any five gallon pail. This is the flipper part. It's really well made and rugged. It's really easy to insert and remove, and it fits into these two grooves. The ladder comes in two parts and is easy to snap together. So the mice just climb up the ladder, they go onto the flipper, smell the bait, go towards the back, and they get flipped right into the bucket. And after one drops in, it just resets itself for the next mouse. And then you just remove the ladder and the flipper and lay it on its side to release them. And it's very easy to bait. Just flip it over and right up here in the top, put some peanut butter and some sunflower seeds. And the good thing about this is that the mice can't actually get to the bait. So it can last in there for up to two or three weeks or even longer. So you just put some grass or some sawdust in the bottom, some sunflower seeds, and a bit of toilet paper or Kleenex for bedding. So let's give this a try in my attic. And just so you know, that's not mice poop on top of the insulation. It's only shingle material. Why am I whispering? This is a voiceover. As you can see, once they locate the smell of where that bait is coming from, they go right in and they don't have a chance. As you can see, this trap works and it works really well. Beforehand, I cycled this door about a hundred times just to see if it would bind and it never sticks or jams on anything. I've also learned that this trap works so well that it's being knocked off by a ton of companies online. Just look for their trademark on the flipper, it'll be on the lid, their name is across the top and the bottom, and on the ladder. And the best part about it is it's all made in the USA, and it'll have their name beside the rating on Amazon. So if you do want one of these, I'll have it linked below in the description under the video. And I'll also link any tools I use. And it'll bring you directly to the one that's made in the US. Now let's make one. There's only four things you're going to need, and the first is a five gallon pail. Next, you'll need two two inch paper clips. Go to the dollar store and get three sixteenths inch wooden dowel. And the last thing you'll need is a piece of this plastic cardboard, which is 12 inch by 12 inch by three sixteenths of an inch. You can buy pieces of this at Home Depot. Election signs are also printed on this stuff. House for sale signs are also printed on it. And the one thing about it is it's really light and it's perfect for this. So first of all, mark the center. Now take your compass and open it up to five and a half inches, which will create an 11 inch circle. And before you draw your circle, make sure that the mark is right in the middle of one of the flutes of the cardboard. And now be sure to mark the center. This can be slightly difficult to cut, but I found the best thing to use is tin snips, or you can use a small utility knife. Take your dowel and make a mark at the 3 inch and the 6 inch mark and then cut it. And now make a couple of marks where that main tube lines up with the center. Then push your two lengths of dowel in until there's about 3 quarters of an inch sticking out. Now take your bucket and look at the side. You'll notice that there's lines molded right into the side of the bucket. And there's also four of them and they're exactly 90 degrees apart. So pick a spot and drill two 7 seconds inch holes across from each other. And you want to drill it in the center of the line, just above this line on the bucket.
So now we want to install the flipper. So just put the bucket against your chest and deform it slightly to make it oval and the flipper will fit right in. Now take two of the two inch paper clips and bend them at 90 degrees right in the center. So this side is the heavier side. So we want to put a paper clip on this side so that the lid stays nice and level. Now we'll use the other paper clip to stop it from going past the halfway point. And this paper clip, we want to put it on this way. You want to place it so that the door doesn't quite open halfway. So the mouse comes up on this side, he crosses over, once he gets to the halfway point, he flips right into the bucket. And you can see how that second paper clip helps it return right back to the closed position. Occasionally you'll have to remove the lid to clean it out. And just to remember how it goes back in place, you should use a sharpie and mark where this paper clip is. I found with all the mouse traps I've ever made that they don't need a ladder to get up onto a trap. All they need is a piece of fabric. So whatever you have, just tape it to the side of the bucket. So as you can see, they were both equally effective. You can either buy one or you can get creative and make one yourself. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, crush that like button for the bean counters at YouTube, subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications and we'll see you next time.